Welcome to section 36 of viruses. This is our virus overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing hepatitis E virus, which you can see right here. This scene takes place among an ancient tribal civilization. Notice that they have killed a cow and are now eating parts of it as it cooks over the fire. As you hopefully know by now, we've been using cows with a spot shaped like a liver to represent the liver. So you can think of this cow on fire as a symbol for the hepatitis virus. The cow being eaten should help you remember the letter E. So putting this all together should help you remember that this image is all about hepatitis E virus. Before we go any further, pay close attention to the sunset. That's right, we've included a lot of warm colors, which should help you remember that this is an RNA virus. Next, notice that we've added a rainbow to the scene. The positive vibes from the rainbow should help you remember that hepatitis E virus is a positive sense virus. Also notice that we've shown many of the people in loincloths, and one of the guys, front and center, appears to be completely naked. To spare you from this inappropriate behavior, we've included this black box around his genitals. The naked people in this image should help you remember that hepatitis E virus is a non-enveloped, or naked virus. This tribe obviously really likes to eat, as you can tell by the big cow that they're eating. But they have also collected a heap of eggs off to the side. They'll surely eat these after they've finished eating the cow. Anyways, heap looks like the word HEPA, so the heap of eggs should help you remember that hepatitis E virus is a member of the family Hepaviridae. One of the eggs they collected appears to be hatching, and you can see a little chick emerging. The chick hatching is a symbol for incubation, because chicken eggs can hatch when incubated. The fact that the chick is the first one to hatch out of this big pile should help you remember that the incubation period is short. First one to hatch, short incubation period. So hepatitis E virus has a short incubation period. Next, notice that we've shown the naked guy stepping in a pile of poop. In fact, it's cow poop. So the cow may have died, but at least it got some form of retribution, right? Just like in our other videos, this guy stepping in poop is here to help you remember that hepatitis E virus exhibits fecal oral transmission. Now we've added this pregnant woman sitting on the stump next to a skull. The pregnant woman is here to help you remember that hepatitis E virus commonly causes fulminant hepatitis in women who are pregnant. The skull right next to her should help you remember that it's associated with a high mortality rate in pregnant women. Finally, if you look closely at the bottom of the cow, you can see that it's getting a bit burned. This is how the tribe likes to eat it. The black spots are right next to the liver and can be thought of as a symbol for necrosis because necrosis results in dead black tissue. So black spots next to liver for liver biopsy shows patchy necrosis. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 29-year-old pregnant female presents to the emergency department due to malaise, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. Physical examination reveals diffuse jaundice and hepatomegaly. Despite aggressive intervention, she passes away several hours later. During an autopsy, a pathological specimen of her liver reveals ballooned hepatocytes and focal areas of necrosis. The organism responsible for this patient's condition, A, is a DNA virus, B, is transmitted parenterally, C, is a positive sense virus, D, is an envelope virus, or E, causes hepatocellular carcinoma. Okay, from the question stem, hopefully you notice that this patient was a pregnant female who abruptly passed away in the setting of jaundice and hepatomegaly. This is a classic vignette describing hepatitis E virus. So the correct answer is C. The organism is a positive sense virus. From the image, recall that this pregnant woman sitting next to the skull right here is to help you remember that hepatitis E virus causes fulminant hepatitis in pregnant women. The rainbow in the background right here should help you remember that it's a positive sense virus. A is wrong because hepatitis E virus is an RNA virus, not a DNA virus. B is wrong because hepatitis E virus is associated with fecal oral transmission. Parenteral transmission refers to IV drug users, and this is more commonly associated with hepatitis B, C, and D viruses. So B is incorrect. D is wrong because hepatitis E virus is a naked virus, not an enveloped virus. E is wrong because hepatitis B and C viruses are associated with hepatocellular carcinoma, but hepatitis E virus is not. So E is wrong. So again, the correct answer is C. The organism is a positive sense virus.